Voices are being raised in anticipation of another Jacksonville battle over expanding the city's human rights ordinance to include gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender protections. A sign of that is an actual sign that just went up along I-10. The controversial digital billboard is the work of a Texas group which is soliciting donations in order to fund what it promises would be $10,000 contributions to any city council member who votes in favor of LGBT rights. Now, we told you about the group's offer before, which critics say would amount to bribery. Well, now with the billboard up for all to see, the Texas group says it's serious. Channel 4's Jim Pickett talked to them and to the city council president. You have to look quickly to get this message from the digital billboard on I-10 near McDuff. Here's what it says. Millionaires buy politicians. Now the people can too. Buy 10 city council votes for LGBT protection in Jacksonville. It then lists a group involved, Newstarters.com. Its website says it's a crowdsourcing group. It also shows it's raised over $6,000 for its Jacksonville effort. They hope to get $100,000, but say it's putting a $5 limit on donations per person. We were sort of tired of seeing one person with deep pockets able to, one or two people with deep pockets able to, to use that, that power, that, that influence and that money to determine the outcomes of, of many different things. And so at the $5 cap, it sort of equalizes everybody. The group says it wasn't contacted by any side here in Jacksonville. It just wants people to have a say. But some city council members say it's saying the wrong thing. Their votes aren't for sale, and they believe this is illegal. I think that certainly is, a, is not a helpful signal. And Jim, we're going to see uh, a number of stakeholders enter into what is, is going to be a, a very difficult uh, discussion going forward and it's not going to be out of the question that some of those stakeholders will be from out of town and there'll be some that are more local and so this is just sort of the first example where we see uh, sort of out of town organizations uh, trying to play a role in th in this discussion a lot of people are questioning this and really not a lot of people have signed up for it at least according to the organizers but it's something they hope that will make a change and it's something they're trying to do different. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.